in this video i'll be discussing moment of inertia of a disk having cavity so assume let us have a disk and which has radius let's say r and we removed a disk of radius r by 2 from it and now i wanted to know the moment of inertia about point P about an axis about an axis passing through point P and perpendicular to the plane of this assume uniform mass distribution okay so now the question is that how to proceed in such questions okay so i'll tell you the standard approach and you will follow that standard approach so basically you can assume this system like there is a big disk minus there is a small disk right as mass is uniform so i can assume this is sigma mass density and obviously this will also consist of sigma mass density only right so this is the approach we have to approach like this and then we will calculate this is the bigger disk so we have to calculate moment of inertia of this disk about point p and simultaneously this is the center of the small disk let's say this point is o dash this point is o then this point is let us assume p so now we have to calculate moment of inertia about point p so i p is small and this is i p big and then for i net i net will be is equal to i p big minus i p small and then we can figure out the value so let's do it let's remove this part so first of all we can define the masses let us take this mass is let's say m1 and this mass is let's say m2 correct so we know that m1 will be is equal to sigma into pi into r square right aerial mass density into area and then m2 will be sigma into pi into small r by 2 whole square that means this is sigma pi r square by 4 this is going to be the mass of the um, small disk right now we know that ip big for the bigger disk ip big how to find so we can as this is the perpendicular axis so we know that about axis which is passing through the center of mass we can apply parallel axis theorem so we have to write icm so that would be simply i o plus m d square right using 
parallel axis theorem right and now uh, so what is theorem i parallel is equal to icm plus md square so here d is simply is capital r i not is going to be m1 into r square by 2 this is the for the bigger disk we are applying and then plus m is m1 d is simply r square so this will be 3 m1 by 2 into r square and then we can eventually substitute this value so what do i achieve then so we get 3 by 2 into and uh, here this will become sigma into pi into r square into r square so this is 3 by 2 sigma pi r to the power 4 this is going to be the value of the ip big now we can remove this ip big as we already calculated so let's say remove this bigger disk and then we can calculate for the small one now for the small one ip is small so now we can simply calculate so this is the perpendicular so perpendicular uh, this parallel distance how much so this is r by 2 and of course this is r so this distance will become 3 r by 2 this time d dash so this will be written as m into m2 into r by 2 whole square divided by 2 this is nothing else i o dash small disk moment of inertia about o dash plus m into d square that means m2 into d dash square this can be written as m2 into r square divided by 8 plus m2 into d dash is 3 r by 2 whole square m2 can be taken as common this will become r square by 8 plus 9 r square by 4 we can substitute the value of m2 that would be simply sigma pi r square by 4 and that would be equal to uh, uh, denominator it is 8 this will be r square plus 18 r square so this is 19 upon 32 sigma pi r to the power 4 correct then our task is very simple so now we can figure out i net is equal to ip big minus ip small correct and then we can find out this is going to be how much 3 by 2 sigma pi r to the power 4 minus 19 by 32 sigma pi into r to the power 4 then we can take sigma pi r to the power 4 common this is 3 by 2 minus 19 by 32 then let us finalize it so here this is going to be how much this is going to be i net is equal to sigma pi r to the power 4 into divided by 32 16 into 348 minus this is going to be 19 and that is simply 29 by 32 sigma pi r to the power 4 perfect so this is going to be the value of moment of inertia for such type of disk while having the cavity so this is the standard process for any kind of cavity like for spheres also you can find the moment of inertia like this where you can apply parallel and perpendicular axis theorems and in order to find the answers okay i hope that you understood the concept pretty carefully this is very very important concept